Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for more Christmas stuff. I love Christmas stuff. It's probably my favorite time of the year, even though it's got bad memories attached to it. I love making Christmas stuff. I love decorating. It's just fun. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so you already saw this in my E12 video. Well, depending on which one goes up first. Um, on ANA E12, I printed another one of those large Christmas trees, and it came out spectacular. I'm very, very pleased with it. This is from Shun Plastics, S-C-H-O-O-N.com. It's filament they sent me to review, so I'll be giving you guys a review of that pretty soon. I still have to print with the other plastics. But this is their transparent red, and it is beautiful. It's got like this pink-orange iridescence to it when you print it as a single layer. Very pretty. That was printed on ANA E12. Then also on the E12 I printed a little crystal ornament. One of these days I'm going to supersize this. I thought it was pretty cool. Came out fine. This is Toner Plastics um, Electric Blue. Yes, that is Toner Plastics Electric Blue. Yes. This was printed on the JG Aurora. I think I showed you guys this one. The JG Aurora A5 and it did a fantastic job on it. And this one here, slightly bigger actually, was printed on the ANET E12. And that one also came out excellent. I have a couple of holes, but that's mostly because I tried to cheat on the infill by using zero and a minimum number of layers to reduce the print time. I think this printed in 26 hours. So, not bad. It came out good. It needs just a tiny bit of infill or a couple extra of top layers. Otherwise, it came out fine. And then I printed this cool little one. This was actually printed on the i3 Mega. This is a little geode ornament. As you can see, it's got a little light inside. So if you go to Dollar Tree, you can get these little tea lights. And I found that they had them in glitter red, so it perfectly matches the Zyro twinkling bright red filament. So I got one of those little red ones, and it fits perfectly right inside there. So that is a beautiful little ornament. I really like that. It's one of my favorites. This really came out pretty nice. And then I got something really cool. You guys are going to get a kick out of this. This was also printed on the i3 Mega. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, do you paint it? No, this isn't painted. This is two different filaments. This is Maker Geek's Crystal PLA Green and Zyro's Twinkling Bright Red. Almost the last of my bright red. I have just enough to finish. I have a little bit left on the roll. I could probably do like another ornament or something like that. This is ingenious. It, it takes a lot of plastic, but the effect is so cool. Here's how this works. It's two pieces. Let me get that in the camera for you. There we go. It is two complete pieces. So you print the one part in whatever color you want. And it's got a trapezoid in the middle here and four posts around it on top. This needed like one more top layer, but it's okay. It's not bad. It's smooth, but you can see the underlying layers where the, the first layer didn't quite grab right, of course, as always when you have a bridge. Then the second layer reinforces. So I should have put one more top layer on here, but it is still smooth. It's just cos it's visual cosmetic. I don't know if you can see that. And then this one, I did add the infill, and it's much better. When I saw what happened there, I added a little bit of infill right before it did the cap, and that helped it merge better. And this, as you can see, has the receptacle. So the two parts fit together, just like that. That is freaking cool. That is very, very cool. That's it for this video. I'll have links for all these files down below on Thingiverse and links to the filament if they're available. You guys have a great day.